Wouldn't it be nice? All right. You know, I did listen to. This always sounds so staticky, though. Right here. I thought it was me, but it's the game. Uh, should it be sound effects, you think? But I wanted the hit to be the hit, though, or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. Runner Legend. Oh, I know what I was going to do. Oh, and Dying to I Am? Uh... Maybe I should be under legend here. I know. Even though I do suck at legend here. Why not? Um. Crap. There was something I was going to do. Is it general? Presentation, maybe? No. Get to the next turn. Play a lot. Well, shoot. Are you kidding me? There's no way to change this? I want to change the hitting. I want to be able to hit. Am I not able to do that? I don't know what it'd be under. Oh, uh, shift. Defensive shift. Oh, I got this on auto? Oh, wait, I'm not doing that. That's right. Ain't that a mother freaking there's nothing nothing you can change, huh? Why would they do that? Why would they give you the choice to do the universal DH? Oh wait a minute, oh maybe there is. There's another button. I got boxer off? Why? Why do they call him a lot? I don't know. Oh. Well, that wasn't there either. Ain't that a freaking son of a gun? Am I just not seeing it? I am kind of blind. Well, I have a, uh, what do you call it, that narrow vision? Yeah, I don't see it, though.
Huh. All right. Well, that was a waste of time. <clears throat> oh, move this out the way. my age and I want to start hitting play a position maybe not though welcome to Marlins way where we find Lone Depot Park today the finale of this three game weekend set it's the San Francisco Giants taking on the Miami Marlins Four John Shaw being Chris Singleton on and the now, call so the Miami Marlins have taken the first two games of this series and today Miami. they'll go for the sweep they played well Chris oh, wow. and they're looking for more of the same in this one yeah, they've been the side shaking hands on the field after each game so far. Played solid baseball to earn those wins, as you said. But every game offers up its own unique challenges. So we'll see what those are today. But there's always a little extra motivation when you have an opportunity to sweep a series. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just a little bit away from first pitch. And our starting pitcher here today, Frank Tanana. Unbelievable season for him last year, eh, Chris? Well, indeed. I mean, he finished the season last year with an ERA of just over one. I mean, you're talking about to be under two is an elite type of pitcher, and to be just over one and have the success that he had, but to have Pretty it consistently, right you can't go out there and have a, the a blow-up outing 14. or two and expect Five to be able to reach right, that low of a number at the end of the year. So that just tells you this guy's focus, his resiliency, and his ability to go out there and repeat his delivery. That's why he's a lead. It was 10 games. Next offering is down low. The wind of the pitch. Hey. Nothing but fastballs, huh? Stays alive. Here comes the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The wind of the pitch. Nope. He's a jerk. Swing and he struck him out. And that's the first out. Seven pitch in bet. Fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled really? and this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible. So Gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. Will Wilson watches that one, one for a one strike. Out. Standing in here with one down. Comes up empty on the swing. Oh, it's two now. That's a real nice cutter right there. I mean, this guy can struggle with the inside pitch oh, at crap. times. So I'd say that's Damn pretty it. effective if you can continue to command it on that side of the plate. And now it's one and two. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Nice, efficient start to the afternoon. That's two out. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie. And instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. Next pitch misses inside, and it's 2-0. Oh. 
And now the lefty. And a foul ball. No score just getting started. Top of the first. Bounced up the middle. Escobar handles. Byers to first on the run. Third out. Giants are down one. Top of the second. Here's. I don't have any sliders, do I? Should I move some sliders to make the. I don't know. Jack Peterson. The left fielder, number 23. John. Ten Annie. Back to work. He's a strike. Oh, one's the count. And a pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Where's the first here? Next Whoa, pitch inside, man. and it's one and two. Kicks and fires. Got him swinging. And now one away. Here is Glaber Torres. The second baseman. Glaber Torres. Mm. And first offering is fouled off. Torres, a guy the Yankees acquired for Aroldis Chapman back in 2016. He is fearless. You can't tell if he's been in this league for eight years or two years. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Our umpire behind the plate, Jerry Hillsdale. High praise for Jerry when we talk to people around the game. Yeah, no doubt about it, Boog. He's very straightforward, very consistent back there. So most of the time, you're not even going to think run. about it. That's a good thing. Hey, one away, one away. The oh. next pitch misses. The count now two, two and two. two. Singing what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away and down and why those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball martinez makes the play. Where's angel hernandez with joe west there's that other guy that this sucks is joey Bart. Joey. he's looking to hit the ball the other way in 99 percent of his at bats but if you make a mistake middle in he can touch you up for a four bagger first offering and it just misses Oh boy, oh, that's gone. Damn it. On its way. Gone. Upper deck. That or second deck, whatever you want to call it. And that gives him a lead. Hey, hey, I don't need you to describe it to me. I was there. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep Marked. that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. 407 feet. I'm going to hit that guy. I don't like the way he stared at it. Base is empty with two away. And up next for the Giants, hey, Mike Yastrzemski. The right fielder, number five. Mike Wait. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Of course, I got this catcher calling nothing but fastballs. Pitch. Come on, guys. Oh, and two. Three. Nice. And that is that. So they pick up a run of the solo shot and take the lead. We go to the bottom of inning. Out of the third inning, here's Brandon Crawford. Get out of here, San Francisco. The designated the wind in the pitch. Brandon. Yeah, you tell him. That's down the pipe. Hey, nobody gone now. The pitch. That one oh, I was early. Damn. Swing and a pop. 
pop-up. Foul really territory for the catcher. I go, I go. And he makes the catch. One down. Boy, that was a hanging, breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. And digging in for San Francisco, Colson Montgomery. In the air to left, down the line. Is fair? That one hops against the fence. And he Look, foul to me. Right with a double. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got Can we see that again? Handle. That pretty much split the zone oh, down man. the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Well, that's not a good thing, or I couldn't tell. So the lineup flip. I couldn't tell. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, I stand corrected. What do I know? It's over. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Tyler sure. McDonough. Let's get him down right here. Ooh. First That's the wrong angle on that zone. one. ball left side to Nana one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this next pitch is outside yeah if you're gonna be in the game in high leverage situations you've got to be able to get the swing and miss and put hitters away That's the next cool. offering misses three and one now hey clutch up for us get a strikeout for us Three one, and he nope. couldn't come up with it. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But you know his confidence should come still on, be guys. high enough to get out of this. But he's gonna have yeah. to buckle down right here. Wilson, Wilson the next to hit, takes ball one. Hey, we got one. Late. I'm not going inside on it. Kicks and deals. Now it gets away from Narvaez. Was that a wild pitch? Really? Second and third here. All right, well, so much of a dull play. In the air, right field. Base hit. One run is in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play, and they lead by three. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. Uh oh. First pitch, just misses. Yeah, we got one here. Still only one out here in the inning. Next one misses. Two balls, no strikes. And the slider catches the zone. Is there a little wrinkle to that? Really inside yeah. breaking pitch. A little slider action. That's Next ball. pitch misses. Ball three. What's with you and all the inside pitches, dude? That one pulled foul. These guys like this that have so much power, look forward to seeing them hit the ball a long way. But if you're in the stands, are you in a broadcast booth, or are you a writer? Better keep your eye on the game. And ball four to a board. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Peterson now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. One down, one down. The one two. Good eye right there. Two walks in the Two inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Got him. <laughs> Two away. Labor Torres up to the plate. Now batting. The second base. Labor Torres. And that's in there for strike one. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at bat to try to get something to hit hard. 
Next right offering there. misses, and the count is one and one. Two on, two outs. Yeah. Gets the outside corner with that one. Good job of damage control right there. We head down to the home half of inning number three. Welcome back out of the fourth. Now it's the Giants catcher, Joey Bart. I should hit him. Tanana back to work. Pitch is in for a strike. And no and it's 0 1. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side. Same side he throws from. Wow. All right, come on now. Way to bail me out, team. The lefty ready and a 1 1. Aye. That's in there. The pitch. That one is upstairs. And the pitch. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Damn, I thought he hit that. <laughs> retired in the fourth. Well, that's such a critical pitch in terms of execution right there. The pitcher has to finish it. Otherwise, probably gets hit pretty hard. If you leave that out over the plate or you don't get it down enough, quickly turns into something that gets smoked. But if you can place it where he did, it's a really deceptive pitch. Mike Yastrzemski up here. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Strike two. Yep. Well, we got one out here. Wait. Next one offering down strike. low yep. and in the dirt. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down any time. Gets it to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. Now designated two outs, base is empty. Brandon Crawford will hit next. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. Left-hand hitter waits. And a foul ball. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. This ball's chopped on the ground. On the run, sends it over to first. That's the third out. Nothing doing there for San Francisco. And they're still doubled up. It's 6-3. to three. Ready now for the fifth inning. And the batter now, Colson Montgomery. Leading off for the pitch. The third There's a strike. Colson Montgomery. The big lefty turns, oh. kicks, deals. Nope. That's a ball. And takes low for ball one. Hey, nobody on. The pitch. Quick. Upstairs. Oh, Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. That's not true. I just lost my rhythm. And here it comes. And that just misses. And the pitch. Gets under and pops it up. And there's one away. The center fielder, number 14, Tyler. Tyler McDonough, McDonough digs in now. Ball First one. offering, misses the mark. Ball one, no strike. One down, base is empty. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. And he deals. Swings through that. Of the pitch. 
popped up right side. Take Chisholm it, it. under it. I go, I brings go. it in. Two down. Here's the shortstop oh, at the play. Will the Wilson. Shortstop. Really good piece of hitting last time. Wilson. Going to the opposite field. It's softly on the ground left side. Grabs it barehanded. And that's a nice play to end the inning. Giants down in order and can't cut into that 6-3 deficit. Back here in Miami, now here is Max Muncy. Leading off for the Giants. He's not going to get cheated the up there. Team. No, he's not. Max. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. That one to first, and it goes just foul. The wind of the pitch. Rocketed out towards right center. He dies. Oh. Hang on. That's a base hit. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw yeah. the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And Jack Peterson stands in. Damn it. First pitch, not close. At the belt and fires. Popped up foul territory mm -hmm. behind the play. I got it, I got it. Narvaez makes the catch, and there's one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Here's Glaber Torres. He's moved first, and he's back in there. Swings and fouls one off. That one fouled off. Like he's swinging at everything. Next offering upstairs. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because. And Glaber Torres retired. Two away down. Now that Joey Bart, the next giant to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two outs. Oh, base hit. Ripped to the right center. And that should be extra bases. And it kicks off the base of the wall. Muncy on his horse around third. Throw cut off. Now to the plate. Not in time. He scores. And it's now a two-run game. Well done. Narrows the deficit with the RBI there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like hey, that, you're here. thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it. And, man, he wasn't fooled at all. Yastrzemski. In the box again, takes the strike. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Over to Cooper. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. So they pick up a run on two hits. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Jesus Lazardo. And he'll do his best. Four games, 12 innings, has three innings Stars a game. Having an excellent oh. season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. This was pure domination at home. Huge sweep. And now you go on the road. The flight's going to be very enjoyable. Get into the next city, get a nice meal. Get settled in at the hotel, but come back ready to play in the next game. See if you can continue this momentum. And this one ends with a final yeah, score of final six to four for, for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding. Boy, that third inning, 28 pitches thrown. Gee. Most rookies at the major league level do struggle a bit at some point, and he's in a bit of a skid right now. Al Leiter is with me today. Al, when you had struggles early on in your career, how did you write the ship? Well, you said most rookies, most players. Every player uh, that I've been around, and including my career that 
luckily lasted uh, 19 seasons. You're always dealing with that. And I think the, really? biggest, 19 seasons? the hardest yeah. hurdle for a young player is one, identify that you're going to have some rough patches. And that's okay because it's not an easy sport. You got to be sure. able to turn the page. And I think that was one thing that I was able to learn early on and not agonize over my bad games is mm -hmm. learn from them, identify what you did poorly, mm -hmm. and move on. It's, it's, the, it's the best way. I can't simplify it any more than that. The players that go into real big ruts are the ones that can't forget about what they did yesterday. If it was a yeah. bad game and you think about it, it's going to affect tonight. And that's that.